I'm with a group of brownies trying to spot satellites in the early evening sky. Now, we don't just look this way, we've got to look all across the sky. We've got to try and take it all in. I can see the moon, but I can see two of them. <laughs> <laughs> On average, two satellites pass over Britain every quarter of an hour. But they're not the easiest things to see. Now, what are you looking for? Well, you're looking for something that looks a bit like an aeroplane, but it's not going to flash, and it's going to move slowly across the sky. Tonight, my team of brownies is in for a treat. Because the biggest satellite of them all is due to pass directly over Hatfield. It's the International Space Station, the largest thing human beings have ever put into orbit. It took more than 12 years and 30 trips to build, and it circles the Earth nearly 16 times a day. Everyone, including the astronomers with their telescopes, is waiting for it to appear over the horizon. Whoa, I can see a star moving really, really quickly. Oh, uh, no, see, I don't think that's a star moving, that's a space station. I didn't see it. That is the International Space Station. There's a crude rule of thumb. If a satellite orbits 300 kilometres up, it needs to be just one square metre for us to see it with the naked eye. The ISS has eight solar arrays, each 70 metres long. So with a pair of binoculars, you can see it from Earth in wonderful detail. 